Okay, since uh, we kind of finished up with uh, Rick's uh, 73 Chevelle, uh, um, I think we need another little project on the side or whatever. So I think this guy is a perfect candidate. It's a 61 Pontiac. Uh, I do believe the last time I was on the road was the late 90s. I think Rick was driving and then he got hit. Clearly you can see by the uh, missing of the fender and the banged up front end, but we've got that solution already fixed. So I think our goal today is, it's actually quite nice out, minus the wind, but it's not hot out. Uh, we're gonna try to get this guy out. We've got uh, four or five vehicles to move or whatever. I've got tires for uh, to move this uh, keep out of here. It's actually a pretty solid car. Uh, we'll show you a lot more of it when we get it out of here. It's pretty tight. We, there was a tree growing up against it that didn't hurt anything. We cut that out. And uh, yeah, so it's just gonna be a bit of monkeying around to uh, get this little gem out of here. It's, uh, as you can see, it's a two-door hard top, 61 Pontiac. Sure, a pretty neat looking car. So, uh, like I said, we'll get it out. It's just a shame the moss has already been growing on it. But we'll get that off. But uh, yeah, we're uh, our goal is today to get it out and then the next week or so, uh, then we're gonna go through the proper steps and we'll try to get it running and whatnot. I think Ryan's already ordered me uh, wheel cylinders and master cylinders and all that stuff for it. So that should be coming in early next week. But uh, yeah, once we got dug out, and uh, we'll show you a bit more of the car and whatnot. Like I said, I've already got a fender already uh, for it and, uh, and a better hood. This hood's all been banged up and whatnot. And there is a parts car here, so in the spring there, I was able to uh, start taking parts off and cleaning them up and whatnot. So I think today's the day, finally. We were going to try it the past few weeks and these other things have come up as life. So yeah, we got to get rid of a few of these vehicles. We're even smart enough, we brought a generator today. Now, like I said, we've got to move all these guys. See? Smart. Work smart, not hard. Pump the tires. And you gonna talk about the elephant in the room? The Dodge? Damn straight. What year is this thing? 97 or 93. 93. This is one of our work hall that we, or trucks we've had for a while. 93 Dodge, long bed, extended cab, five speed. Man, look at those two sexy shifters. Oh well, yeah, four wheel drive. Of course, four wheel drive. We bought this a long time ago. I think for like what three grand, two grand, something like that. I know I paid a thousand. Yeah, I threw a thousand. Yeah, we, me, you, and Mum or Derek went half. So yeah, it's just a good work truck. So we finally brought it out of hibernation. I say, but we just don't have any time to fix all of these dents and fix some of the Bondo stuff. Yeah, there's some bad Bondo on well, there's, well, yeah, we the did. Great Bondini. To yeah, the Great one. Bondini, yeah. But you know, it's a good truck. It's been actually pretty reliable. We were hurt to do a paint job on it. Just pretty painted white, do a quickie job. But anyway, I guess we're gonna start dragging some vehicles out and moving stuff and enough rambling. Let's get to work. We got Casey here, so. He's yeah. complaining because the mini bike's not running today. We have issues. He's always complaining. And then our goal for the end of the video is just to have the car into here and then. Uh, our is to leave. How negative. Who brought you anyway? Dad. Why? Well, Dad brought me to Stone. Yes, we know that. Alrighty, we'll be back in a minute. We gotta start yanking some vehicles. Okay, we tried moving this thing. Here's the factory uh, tow bar or tow hook thing from this car. So we're gonna have to think harder here, Homer. Should have brought a J hook. That's one thing we should actually, should talk to Corey and see about if we can get one off I think I'm just gonna go right around the bloody uh, control. That'd be a nice thing to get a J hook. I never thought of it, eh? But yeah. yeah. I want you alive. Okay, try this again. 27, actually. It was Whoa, would you go away? 27. 27? What weather, we were watching the weather channel this morning. He said 26. 27. It changed. It changed? Should we film on every moment? It's not budget. It's not budget. Watch this. Yeah, that's probably where you can do it. You gotta take a run at it. Oh! Watch yourself. 
yourself, Casey. The old clutch is like, oh. Yes! Now this. Yes, what? This is what we watch for. So what did it uh... What the? What the? Chill. Where did I rip this time? Well, we didn't rip this. But yeah, all four wheels aren't moving. So. Wait, what happened? Well, I was on part of the control arm. It's now ripped. But yeah, all the. Uh, it's so, in neutral. So oh, yeah, this thing's a really good turn. You can talk about your broken hammer. Well, when you think something's going to be a five minute job, Murphy's Law says otherwise. Someone was nice enough when they parked this car, I guess, to put the e brake on. We went and touched the e brake. I don't even know where it is anymore. And the cable fell off in my hand. Yeah, right there. It literally just fell off. So it was lovely. So, uh, bearing turn nice. Bearing turn's beautiful. You can see our nice cut there. So, to get it off, what we did is we cut the rotor. It's somewhere over there now. You can see we smashed in kind of cold chisel. And I'm gonna anticipate the other backside is gonna be just as fun. Check so, out two hammers. Yeah, wait, wait, we broke a sledgehammer and a, and a bolt beam. So yeah. that's just lovely. So it's just, it's gonna be one of those days, I think. And this is one out of four. At least I know the front, there's no e brakes, but I mean, it did, did the front even turn or? No, no. So what we'll probably do on the front, I'm assuming, is just do the same we did here, just cut the, the bolts for the calipers, and they came off relatively easy. So I think this will be, uh, you know, this will probably turn to a bloody two hour job. Probably. All right, we're gonna attempt to try to move this Toyota. It's so rotted, folks. Bad thing's gonna happen. There's a challenger. Well, Chris isn't watching me hang my head right now. No. That's us. No, it's not. That was on what the factory tow hook. That's a factory tow hook. Wow. That's what happens when you get. Ah, this thing's rotten. Hang on, Dirk. Simple things for simple people. Yeah, who mm -hmm. might get married? You doing this? That's the only thing growing now. Is. is the weeds? The grass isn't growing. Hey, okay, get out of there. there. Okay, Derek, it's all you. Yeah. Where is it? Yeah. There's no point. Gonna it's just gonna they're they're not turning so why well, anybody wants to try to get it more mm -hmm. yeah it's just gonna drag straight anyways you gonna get in Corey or <laughs> no why get out of the way Casey uh, okay Yay! Fancy car of the day, V6, yeah. station wagon. Yeah. You gotta go that way. Yeah, I'm trying. It's just not going. <laughs> it's not moly. It's not moly. Uh, one of those days, we were just towing out some of these vehicles here to get the uh, Corey's project here. All of a sudden, you smell gas. So the the line that goes from the fuel pump to the the steel line on the rail there. It decided to burst. Looking at it, I think it's just regular fuel line hose, not fuel injection hose, because this is actual fuel injection hose. Made in the Czech, made in the EU. This one's actually made in the Czech Republic. So, go to the auto parts store, just, just about a mile from here. Seven bucks a foot, which is just great for it, but uh, seven dollars. Seven bucks a foot. Mm -hmm. But the only thing is, it's right there. I, I know there's some in Stony Mountain. We're gonna have to find. It. I don't know where it is. I had it for my car, but it's like it's right there. And it's literally, literally from here, a two-minute drive. So it just sometimes time is money. Casey was happy they had popcorn he's eating right now. It was full and it was free. Uh -huh. stale, it? it was probably made last week and probably they want to get rid of it, but he's eating it, so whatever. Keeps him happy. I like it. So now I gotta cut the hose. And uh the reason I know it's got ringworm clamps on it, we really should put actual fuel injection hose clamps on it today, today to get it home. We'll do this. When I went to go take them, I should not take I could do it with my fingers, which didn't help. But yeah, so I'll get this cut. But it's one of those days. I thought it was a piece of garbage. Uh, uh, he's got to move the exploder. He's got he's got got, uh huh. And they're probably not going to roll. At least after that's the last vehicle. Man. Man, I, uh, I had to run home to get the keys. Yeah, Derek had to go home and get the keys. It's been one of those days. The mini 
bike engine didn't fit. You'll probably see that in an upcoming video. So some days it's better not to put it. He's keep going about his damn popcorn. Okay, back. Yeah. Breaking the six or eight sections as well. Okay, we're on to the last vehicle to move out of here. This Explorer with uh, Jeep rip wheels. We just put those on. The other ones are flat. Corey's inside. It's we had to change a few tires. This one has no rotor on it. It's been missing, so it moves. Then we got a flat tire over there we couldn't fix. So go. See how this goes. Nothing, he's good. Power window's not working. It's hot in here. <laughs> Just watch the exhaust. This, ex this Explorer has issues. Hi, right, we're back in a second. Oh, that's hot in there. <laughs> that tires you. Oh, that's why it's off yeah. the heat. It just kept boop, boop. Oh, well. Oh, it's right here. Hey, got one tire on. Had to do some beating on the drum. It was seized. She don't sound too impressed there, Chris. Well, I don't like beating drums. I had to guess, Chris. All four. Well, maybe that one's in the ground. Let's see when I get the rear ender. Maybe they'll be unseized. Hopefully, maybe whoever drove the last had no bad brakes so they weren't on tight. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. Plates last say 97, so it's a couple of years ago now. It's hot outside. It's, it's hot out today. It's hot. It's not hot. It's the humidity. Yeah, humidity's terrible today. Um, yeah. Uh, I guess the back tires. Yeah, it's going to be a good changing. night today for ice cream tonight. Yeah. Get some good trouble. I gotta clean my car a little bit better though. Yeah, it's a piece of crap. Oh no, you want those the focus. Yeah. yeah, and I've got that. Uh, oh, good, right back. on the frame. Yeah. Well, where else do you think it's That's going? Good. Rip the Chris, use your favorite from this side. Man, these are sharp looking cars. Rip the fender off. I gotta do everything around here. Yeah, they that actually got. Good. I like the yeah, the mold and the body line. I, I think they're way nicer than the Chevy. They can't move the tire turn at all or no? Yeah. Well, taillights are a little plain, but oh, I can deal with that. Oh, I think it's locked. I did have those. I'll have to go from that side. All right, well, we're first get the tire okay, off. Okay, I was just curious. Like, but it's in part. Because if we get the tire off, we'll be It needs to be that, that high for ride height. Yeah, it does. You don't know what we're talking about. Do you want me to go on this you side there? You want the tire front? Yeah, take it off. I'll go on this side and I'll get that. Oh, here, try to go in there and put in the control. I'll get a tire. God, it's 222. Yes, it's 222. And uh, Casey's bored. Good thing I'm not a fat person, Chris. You got the okay, we're neutral. pry bar, see if it's a uh, Movable. No, it's stuck. 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 What'd you say, Case? More beatings to come. Oh yeah, we'll call that good. I'll put Corey's motorcycle helmet on. There we go. For this right now, cave. Which tire was going on it? This that one? one there, yeah. There's a red buck right here. Is it gonna be too tall? I don't yeah. know. I don't think so. Case, you don't know. The car's gotta go up way higher. Though. Yeah, but well, I'm just worried as long as it fits in the fender wall. You ready to go? Okay. 
Well, both Sawzall batteries unfortunately ran out of blade and we don't feel like going home. We just about got her now. And you can see we just got a little bit more here. Because if not, it would have uh, tore out our rockers. Yeah. So we just about got her. So you can see here we're... Uh, just well, chiseling it away at it. Just the last little oh, bit here. Head. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. They grow back. <sighs> That I'm not worried about. No, once we start uh, breaking it down, like pieces like that. So we got this tire moved. Yeah. yeah. And both front tires moved. And we're very, very close. The rescue of the white 61 Pontiac. There you go. Yeah. Hey, right, we're uh, tempting this. That rear tire, we tried to pump it up, but the tree was uh, in the rim, so. Kevin's watching that Thank you. side. I'm not doing nothing. Okay. My wheel trip. Yeah, it's pretty dang sharp, bug. Okay. We were getting too close for there, so we had to jack it up and move it over. You're good. You're good on my side, right? You can even start straightening out. Yep. Just watch that tailpipe. Yeah. Or sharp? No. Nice. He's good. Okay, so we got the Pontiac out. What a effort and ordeal that was. Ryan fought with that tree stump, but it didn't uh, wreck anything. Sure, good looking car. Uh, there's another parts car in the back there that I've already got a hood and a fender for, and I'll uh, start taking the front uh, grill out and all that stuff for it later on anyway. But the, uh, the hood and grill in there is already in primer and everything, so. Probably grab another, well, grab another one of these guys. It's got a big rod hole in it. But, uh, it just has a newer small block in it of sorts. It does turn over, or at least I had it uh, just by hand. So I'll put a starter in it, because there's a, there's no starter, as I can see. Huge yet, blech. So I think uh, Ryan's already ordered uh, brakes for it this week, this past week, so I'll get a tune up and drain all the fluids, and uh, later on this week, uh, or this next weekend or whatever, I'll maybe try to fire it up. Pretty solid car, it does have a little bit of bubbling rust here and there. <laughs> With that. It's got power steering and power brakes. Yes. Even if you look at the gas pedal, look at the big heel plate thing. That is uh, pretty funky. It looks like a melted gas pedal. For <laughs> and I see where the other door panel is. Ooh, that might be a problem. It's a headliner. Oh, he's damn good. Not bad. Yep. Very usable. Don't know what the seat rear seat is, but there's a cup. I'm gonna say it's probably pretty mint. There's a nice pink cover on it. Uh, needs a lot of cleaning in here, but it looks all very solid. There might be the odd little thing here and there, but it looks pretty damn solid. So I'll clean all this crap out this week. And then I'm gonna say that umbrella is probably no good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Winnipeg Motor products. Yeah. Local car. Looks good actually that height. Yeah, it actually does. Maybe a little bit bigger tire in the back. Yeah. A little wider. 
It's a Laurentian. Laurentian. Tonight we're definitely going for ice cream. Like I said, uh, I've already got a fender inside and uh, a hood that's uh, already, I uh, did a bit of work to it. It's already in bare metal and primered and all that stuff, so it's actually pretty decent. And we're missing the trim on this side. Yeah. If not, they're, they're out there. Who knows, it could be in the shop somewhere. I'll have to ask yeah. see where it is. But yeah, this will be the next project, monkeying around with it and everything else here and there when we get a chance. I just figured the car is way too nice just to sit, and uh, it's a Pontiac, so sure got a nice roof line. Sorry for the uh, how long it took and everything to uh, get it out of the compound, but man, did we fight! We won, but man, did we fight! Yeah. They've seen the compound. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they understand how yeah. crap is in there. Yeah. Right. Okay, so it's been a couple days since we dug this uh, '61 Pontiac uh, Laurentian out. I think today's goal is uh, I'm going to clean all this ugly stuff out and see what's lurking underneath there because it's hella ugly. You can catch hepatitis A, B, or C, or syphilis, or who knows what the hell. But there's a lot of ugliness under there. So yeah, we'll dig it out, maybe give it a quick cleaning. Uh, Boog's gone to go get a starter from uh, home and a uh, battery. So we'll just see if it'll turn over and whatnot. And, like I said, it's pretty complete. I cleaned up all the uh, mouse turds off of everything and we'll just kind of give it a little bit of a once over before we're firing. I don't know if you can hear it, but uh, Casey's cruising around next door in his uh, new little mini bike. Yeah, we'll have to see if we can get a shot of him when he comes back. Yeah, he's making hot laps. Show what we just found in the back seat. Yeah. About the back seat. The interior, in the interior actually looks like it will clean up. Uh, Ryan's gone to go get me some cleaning stuff too or whatever. But Red I, and white. Yeah. I like to know where the door panel is. I might know where it is. I'll go take a look. But uh, but yeah, if you look underneath here, it's got factory uh, cush or the plastic protector over it. And it even has little gold stars in the uh, protective cover. Pretty cool there. I'm not sure what the rest of the seat looks like. It feels good, but maybe I might take a look later. But uh, we'll never take this off. Yeah, so pretty much... Yeah, that's fact. That's, that looks factory. Yeah, pretty impressive. So I was just gonna clean all this crap out and see what we got underneath there. I'm sure it's probably gonna have the typical rust in the floors, maybe. It's hard to say. Uh, I did, like I said, a while ago I did uh, start uh, grabbing parts off the parts car and I did grab a fender a while ago and I took it to bare metal and all that stuff. And it's got a few little, looks like a gunshot wound right there. Other than that, the fender's pretty nice shape, so. Fix that up. Oh, there's Casey making hot laps. Evil Knievel in training. <laughs> and like I said, the uh, car, parts car, maybe we'll show that, but it's got the, the grill and all that stuff. The hood, I've got a uh, hood, same thing, it's in primer in the shop already. I cleaned up and whatnot. This one's got a good wow right there. And we got the chrome for here yeah well if it's missing i'll see if i can find it not but uh, the four-door car's got the, the part that will be able to make it work so i'm pretty impressed with this thing so far oh, a little small little rock right there that's not a big yeah deal. i'm gonna fill that up with mono <laughs> kidding 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 oh even when uh, chris was digging out here he found an old newspaper from 1996 Swimming, outing, ends in tragedy. This guy's got his pants down. Hmm, I wonder what happened there. It might have been the tragedy. That could have been. Ah, this paper's old. I wonder if it's still got Miss Lonely Hearts in it. Hmm. That's whack, yo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's got typical oh. floor problems. Yeah. Well, uh, that's to be expected. But, yeah, exactly. So, like I said, later on, uh, it won't be for a while, but I'd like to uh, pull the seats out and all that stuff and see what it needs for floors and either patch the floors or put a full, full, a full floor pan in it, see what it needs. I'm thinking it should be pretty solid, but you never know. Sure, like to know where the heck this door panel is. Might be in the shed, hopefully. 
And like I said, the headliner is just a yeah, it's pretty damn good. It'll clean up, no rips, no nothing. So. Sure, sharp looking yeah. car. So anyway, I think that's where we'll uh, we'll be back in a few. I'm just waiting for Bug to come back with some parts and whatnot and clean that crap out and clean the other little bit of junk out. Mm -hmm. Sorry for rambling, but man, pretty stoked. We'll see if we can uh, get this thing to fire up. Yeah. I'm not positive on it, but... I'm not positive, I have no idea. Uh, if really worst came to worst, I, I have an idea. If the motor's no good or whatnot. Oh, we got candidates. I got candidates. On the off chance, I'd have to check the parts car. If not, there's another one, but the clutch pedal would be some... If the motor or tranny was no good in this thing... Four speed. But we'll see. But who's to say? But it's not going to be a project anytime soon. It's just time we'll pick around at it, or we'll pick around when we got time here and there and whatnot. But yeah, yeah. I think just leave the body the way it is right now. Knock off the moss. And next week I might take it to the car wash and knock all this moss off. See what it's like underneath with white and leave it as is. Who knows? Mm -hmm. It's hard to say what we'll do. But anyway, I think we'll be back in a couple minutes or two. So anyway, after a little bit of monkeying around in this and that, uh, trying to get it started, uh, I determined that or realized that it had the original GM two-speed cast iron transmission. And it won't take a regular Chevy bolt or a Chevy starter that bolts the block. And so it takes one that bolts to the transmission. Uh, this was out of a six cylinder. It won't even, uh, the snout here won't even go into the transmission. Uh, I've never seen anything like that or I've never worked with anything like that. I can't seem to find a starter that would make uh, That will fit so so that uh, Puts in a that's an onion in the ointment But so, so anyway, I'm thinking in the, maybe the next few weeks what I might end up doing is we'll pull this engine out See if it's any good put it on the engine braking stand and uh, try to get it running see if it's any good and It probably will get a four-speed Just a Saginaw. I know people just use those things for uh, like chalking cars and whatnot and this and that but uh i think it'll be fine for this so i'm thinking uh because i think the parts car it's got that uh, pedals too if not there's a 60 here that i think i can make uh the clutch works or the pedals work so it's looking like it's probably gonna get a four speed down the road anyway but uh, like i said i think in the next couple weeks yank this thing out and we'll run it and see if it's any good so that kind of puts a damper on the day but it is what it is anyway remember like share subscribe leave a comment I guess we'll catch you on the next one. I think Casey's going for more bike rides. Or he's done. Yeah, he's done. He's all sweaty. Did it? Just think, me and you we could be bikers now. Wild hogs. <laughs> and we did uh, find some uh, original uh, paperwork in the in the glove box. Oh, yeah, so that's pretty find cool. The door and the, and the door handle and the lock for the passenger door. So. All we're really missing is the door panel. And worse comes worse, and down the road I'll just buy two new ones for whatever. Yeah. But, but yeah, it's really a bummer about the uh, the transmission there, but it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Tough being a biker, eh? Gonna go cruise for chicks later? At the mulch stand? I wasn't going that fast. No? In your stands. Yeah. It looks like I was going faster, but when I see the video, I'm just like... <laughs> no, you're, you're moving pretty good. Remember, we dialed the carburetor down. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. so anyway, like, share, subscribe. Kevin looks like he's ready for a nap. Yeah. I'm not. In case he wants to go more bike or do more riding. I know. He ran out of gas, so he didn't do this. Oh. Alrighty. All right. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Hope you like this video. We'll see you again, hopefully. Yeah. Don't unsubscribe. <laughs>